To make our table look better, we could add a small bevel to the edges. You can do this in Edit mode. And the bevel tool is located here. Don't use the bevel tool at the whole table. We will produce lots of unnecessary edges by that. Just to show you, select everything and do a bevel here. And as you can see, all of the edges are doubled. This is not what we want. Let's undo this. What we want to do is to select just the edges that we need to have a bevel on. This is for example the feet here or the outer ring of the table plate. First let's deselect everything. Switch to Edge mode. Select the first. And there is a feature when you hold down the Alt key and click at an edge, then it selects the whole edge loop. So Shift was to Add, Alt key, and now this loop is selected. This loop and this loop. The same at the downside. Shift and Alt and clicking at the edges. Now we have selected the edges that we want to bevel at the table plate. Let's do it. A small amount, let's say this one. Now our table has a bevel at the plate. Now for the feet. There is a more elegant way with box select. Let's go to one of the orthographic views. Let's deselect everything by clicking in the off and switch to box select and go to the face mode. And now let's select the faces here. As you can see, it has just selected the front faces. We need to activate toggle X-ray. That way we can see through and select through. So again, orthographic view, box select, and now we have all of the faces selected. Unfortunately, we have also the edges selected where the feet goes into the table plate. This is not what we want. We want, don't want to have a bevel at these edges. First switch to edge select. And then let's have a look here at the modes for the uh, box select tool. There is one for subtract. This is what we need. Let's go again to side view and box select these edges here. And now we have just selected the part of the feed that should be beveled. Let's do it. Again, small amount. And we have beveled our table.